Hi everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com and in this video I'll be showing you a Galaxy S5 unlock through UnlockUnit.com. I paid $31.99 for the unlock and it showed up in just about an hour and a half, so pretty fast. Now I do have the unlock code email right here. I'm not going to scroll down because it has the code, the phone's IMEI and some other information that you don't really need to see. I have the codes up on my laptop as well. So this is the AT&T Galaxy S5, locked to AT&T of course. And let's go ahead and turn the screen off and show the back. So this is the AT&T Galaxy S5. And I will be using this with a T-Mobile micro SIM. So it should work, should get LTE service and everything else. This phone does not support uh, T-Mobile's AWS HSPA bands, which would be band four for HSPA. So to get to the SIM tray, we have to go ahead and turn the phone off because we have to take the battery out. So let's go ahead and wait for the phone to turn off and any second now there we go so let's go ahead and take the battery out and now let's go ahead and take the sim card out so there is the AT&T micro sim now we'll just slide in the T-Mobile one and put the battery back into place and put the back cover on and let's go ahead and power the phone back on So after you put in another SIM card, it should ask to enter an unlock code. And there are two different unlock codes to enter, an NCK code and a freeze code, at least according to the email. We'll see how this goes once the phone turns back on. So at the top it says invalid SIM card, and now it is asking for a network unlock pin. So it says network unlock successful, and I do have a signal in the upper right and it does say T-Mobile. Let's just go ahead and make a call real quick. So right now I am calling my iPhone, which is right here, of course. And there's the call. We could go ahead and answer it. And it looks like the phone is working. Just waiting for a data connection to show up. I think that one thing we have to try to do is go ahead and change the access point for the data connection, so I'm going to go ahead and change it to what it had before, which I believe is the old EPC APN, and change it to the newer one that most of their devices use nowadays. And anything else to set? I think that's about it. And let's go ahead and save that. And just like that, we are now connected to LTE. So let's go ahead and open up a website and see what we have. And from the looks of it, it looks like LTE data is working just fine, and it is pretty speedy, much faster than AT&T in my area at least. And for that little test, we got about almost close to 30 megs down, so that's not bad. So it looks like the unlocked worked, and I'm pretty satisfied overall. The unlock code came in fast. It's a bit expensive in terms of unlocks, but this is a new phone, so of course they can charge a higher price for that. But that's it with this video. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback about this or anything else, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. But that's it with the video. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you all very soon.